Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tara. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Tauruses. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Alright guys, uh, this is a great reading, okay? We're going to start with the Emperor here. This is you at the top of your game. Sitting here thinking, you see how he has his hand up like this? You're sitting here thinking at your throne. You're at the top of your game, baby. You're literally at the top of your game. You've come out of this, maybe not the best, but you came out as an emperor, right? You've accomplished. Whatever you set out to do, you've accomplished, and you're at the top of your throne, baby. Where else would you be but at the top of your throne, my Taurus is, right? Again, this the practical way of thinking, right? This person... Emperor, in order for you to build a strong foundation, you had to have been a practical thinker. You had to use that earth energy to lead you, to ground you, to have you, you know, pave out the way, to have you really focus on your pentacles, on, you know, what's best for you, focusing on, on your truth, focusing on just aspects of yourself that, that help you complete or feel more whole within yourself. So you have that energy right there, right? But the Emperor's thinking. Because again, no matter what happens from now on, you're already an emperor. You can't take that from you. It's, it's something you've accomplished within yourself, right? And maybe outwardly, maybe you are that successful, right? Very successful. All right, so then un under, under it, you have the judgment. Judgment here. It's a contract, though. Take a look at the contract. A sign in blood. All you keep thinking about is this freaking contract that is due, it's here. You know what it is. You're thinking about it, right? This is why the emperor is contemplating. He's happy, but he's contemplating whether he wants to start this new contract or not. He's kind of weighing his options or her options, right? You're thinking, is this beneficial for me? Is this something that's going to help me? How do I see this actually helping me, right? Along the journey, right? Because think about it. You're already the emperor. <laughs> you don't need help. See, this is why it, this is why it's really tricky for you right now, right? Because you you've already accomplished everything you needed to. You don't need anybody else besides you. You already uh, have established so much within yourself. You don't need help. But this contract, however, is here as an option because there's certain things that this contract will be able to give you that you cannot give to yourself. No matter how disciplined you are, no matter how successful you are, no matter how much money you have, right? No matter how disciplined you are, it does not matter. This contract is 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 red. So this has to do with your emotions, has to do with uh, your heart. This contract is <laughs> has nothing to do with your success. <laughs> Here with the page of wands energy, there's a version of you that's looking forward to this contract. It's starting new, right? Because it's 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 a page, it's a beginner. He goes out there, he's all open, he doesn't care about taking risks, he takes risks. He's not the most advanced or knowledgeable when it comes to risk taking, right? He doesn't make the most calculated risk, but he's out there looking for adventure. He's out there ready to explore a new phase of his life, right? Because going from an emperor who's calculated, authoritative, he knows everything, he rules all, to the Page of Wands energy, it's a new beginner. It's a beginner a beginner energy phase. And for some of you guys, it's, again, taking you aback because you got the hangman in reverse. You got this energy up here, the Page of Wands, but the hangman, uh, man, which is a woman. Fun. <laughs> It's actually a woman, if you take a look at this picture. But she looks tied. This is you contemplating. Again, this is what's hidden. It's almost as if because you don't know or you're not assured that this is actually going to work out for you, it's going to be in your best interest, you're very skeptical. You're very skeptical about whether you want to even begin this new uh, journey. It could be with somebody else. This seems to me like a journey of like maybe a relationship because when it comes to that, I mean, a friendship, you can, you can embark on a friendship, you know, um, but there's not so much, it's, it's not, it's not going all in, right? Whereas when it comes to a relationship, uh, you have to be very careful because again, this has nothing to do with like, uh, everything that you've earned. This has to do with what you can, uh, accomplish with somebody else. So, right, she's contemplating, wondering if this is even worth it. But remember, the hangman is always looking at things from a different perspective. But if you take a look at her, she's looking at this contract. She's looking at this contract thinking whether this would even be beneficial. I think her pragmatic thinking here or your pragmatic thinking here is actually, it's smart. It's gotten you to where you are. But when it comes to the matters of love, it's not a smart approach, right? Because... 
it's almost as if saying that um, you're looking for something to go wrong or you're looking for, for, for like the, the red flags, but you're looking at it right away. It's like off the base. It's like, what red flags do you have? I need to know now because if I don't know, if I know now, then I can decide whether I want to embark in this journey or not. But the thing about relationships is you have to get to know somebody. You have to give them a chance. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be in this page of one's energy. For some of you guys, it, it almost seems impossible. And it has to do with this Five of Cups energy, man. You guys lost too much. Maybe this this heartbreak was so painful the last time around that you just... you. Maybe for some of you guys, you haven't gotten 100% over it. I don't think you can get 100% over somebody, right? Especially if this person was with you for a long time, if you are divorced or whatever, right? What if this was someone that was with you for like 10 years? It's going to be really hard to let that go, right? But because of what you experienced in your past, it could also be like a blinder or it could be the reason why you, you're hesitant to give this new contract a chance. You got the Seven of Swords, right? It's almost as if you're looking for dishonesty, deceitfulness. You're, 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 you're just so guarded. You're guarded. You're very guarded because you're afraid that, that, that it's not going to pan out the way you expect it. You're afraid that you're going to lose. It's almost as if you have that mentality that I'm going to lose before you even give this a chance. But um, yeah, it's, it's pessimistic thinking. Sorry, my Tauruses. This is not... It's just the truth. Again, Tauruses are very practical, right? They need to have uh, the tangible. They need to have the proof right in them. But remember, when it comes to the matters of love, it doesn't work that way. It's your choice. You can say no to this contract. You can walk away and still be where you're at, at the top of the game. But I feel like some part of you, the Page of Wands, wants this. You're ready. You're ready to explore. You're ready to give your heart a chance. You're ready to be creative. You're ready to be uh, to let your inner child out and explore this uh, connection. Maybe there's some part of you knows. The only reason I think you are ready is because there is this part of you that wants this. And, you know, no matter how skeptical you are, there's a part of you that really wants to live. And I felt like that's what you've been missing. You've been missing some love in your life to help just, just help you. And it's not even about what this person can give you. It's more about what you can... It's the moment. It's enjoying the moment with somebody. It's it's having companionship with somebody. It's having exclusivity with somebody. It's just being with somebody that's that you can let your guard down around, that you can enjoy yourself around, that you can learn to love. That's what that is. And I think that it's a little scary um, because maybe you haven't been open. Maybe you haven't had that in a very long time, right? You've been so focused on on building your empire and here you are though. And you're happy, don't get me wrong, but it's like, there's still so much more to learn. There's still so much more to discover. There's still more happiness to, to feel within yourself. Um, and not just that, but with others, if, if let be, right? So it's up to you. It's completely up to you. Do you want, do you want to start this contract or not? <laughs> oh, I love y'all. Mm, look at the conflict. It's inner conflict. That's the first one that came out. You got the five of cups with the five of um, swords. It's conflict. It's, it's again, it's push and pull, thinking whether this is worth it and your heart saying, just let be. Let myself feel. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's not like you don't have the brain or capacity to get yourself out of something. I just think you're just afraid to lose. You're afraid to lose again. You're afraid to, to hurt again. You're afraid to get your heart broken again. Fair enough. Fair enough. But that's what life's about, isn't it? Giving yourself a chance to be happy again. Even if it doesn't work out, even if it wasn't meant to be, I mean, think about it. Oh, look at this, the devil. The devil is betting on you to say no. The devil wants you to keep kind of like stuck in conflict, right? Because these two are chained up. This talks about conflict. There's inner conflict within yourself in this contract. You're seeing it as, the, as potentially something that could hurt you. But then again, it's like, then it almost seems like you're not even willing to take the risk because of the things that could go wrong, right? But the devil's banking on that. It doesn't want you to be as happy. It wants you to think bad. It wants you to think that nothing's going to work out as the past relationships didn't. So... Yeah, guys. Sorry, Torres, but it's up to you. All right. Love you guys. Bye.